Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And after I previously did Mount Rushmore's for NBA, NFL, MLB, and NHL teams, four best players on each team, with MLB currently in their offseason, I am now doing the Mount Rushmore for each position. Let's get into it. Today's Mount Rushmore will be left fielders. In this, I attempt to name the four best left fielders in MLB history as a subjective list. Let me know in the comments who you would include. I'll include a bunch of honorable mentions at the end. Players are named in alphabetical order by last name. They are not ranked, and I strictly look at performance on the field. Uh, off the field issues are not taken into account. Um, neither are things such as PEDs. Let's get into it. Starting with Barry Bonds. His baseball reference page is insane. Bonds played parts of 22 seasons in the big leagues, 2,986 career games. Bonds batted 298 with a 1,051 OPS, 182. OPS plus 762 homers, 1,996 RBIs, 2,227 runs, 2,935 hits, 601 doubles, 514 steals, his 762 career homers, and 2,558 career walks are both MLB records. In 2001, Bond slugged 73 homers, which is a single season. MLB record, uh, one of the best hitters the game has ever seen. Bonds won seven NL MVPs, including four in a row from 2001 to 2004. Uh, Black Ink Galore on his page, led the NL homers twice, walks 12 times, batting average twice, um, on base percentage 10 times, slugging percentage 7 times, and OPS 9 times. Uh, just one of the most feared hitters the game has ever seen. Bonds had 13 seasons of at least 100 RBIs. He had 12 seasons of at least 100 runs scored. Uh, was also a stellar fielder early in his career. He was an eight-time gold glove winner. Won eight in a row from 1990 until 1997. Not only did he win seven MVPs, he also had a runner-up finish twice. Finished fourth once, fifth twice, and eighth in his career. Uh, did make one World Series where they lost in seven games to the Giants. Uh, excuse me, to the um, Anaheim Angels. Don't blame him. He went eight for 17 with four homers and 13 walks in that World Series. Uh, Barry Bonds, just an all-time great slugger. Of course, we know why he's not in the Hall of Fame yet. First member of the left field, Mount Rushmore. Next, the guy who loved speaking about himself in the third person, that being Ricky Henderson, inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2009. Henderson played parts of 25 seasons, 3,081 games, bad 279, 820 OPS, 127 OPS plus, 297 homers, 1,115 RBIs, 2,295 runs scored, 3,055 hits, 1,406 stolen bases. Uh, Henderson was named the AL MVP in 1990. Did win a gold glove as well in 1981. Also had MVP finishes of 3rd, ninth, and 10th twice in his career. Henderson is the game's all-time leader in both stolen bases and runs. And I believe he's second all-time in walks, lar largely seen as the game's best uh, leadoff hitter in MLB history. Henderson had a total of 13 seasons with at least 100 runs scored, including five seasons in which he led the AL in runs. He led the AL in stolen bases 12 times in his career, had three seasons with over 100 stolen bases bases uh, he won two world series one with the athletics and one with the toronto blue jays in 1989 was named the alcs mvp uh, again just a great eye at the plate one of the fastest guys in mlb history well deserved place on this left field mount rushmore ricky henderson next a guy some see as maybe the best hitter uh, baseball has ever seen that being Ted Williams, 
Teddy Ballgame was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1966. Played parts in 19 seasons, 2,292 games, batted 344, 1,116 OPS, 191 OPS plus, 521 homers, 1,839 RBIs, 1,798 runs scored, 2,654 hits. Uh, his numbers would have been even better if he did not miss three years in his prime uh, due to being in the military. Um, get another baseball reference page with black ink all over the place as Teddy Ballgame was a six-time AL batting champ, led the league in OPS 10 times, RBIs four times, homers four times, doubles twice, runs five times in his historic career. Um, Williams was named the AL MVP in 1946 and 1949, finished as the runner-up four times, finished third once, fourth twice, sixth, seventh twice. So for a long time was seen amongst the game's best hitters. Teddy Ballgame also led the league in walks eight times, had a absolutely incredible 482 on base percentage in his career. That is the best in Major League history. His OPS of 1,116 is the second best in MLB history. Ted Williams, the third member of the left field Mount Rushmore. And last, let's end with another Red Sox lifer. That being Yaz Carl Yastrzemski, inducted Hall of Fame in 1989. Yastrzemski played part of 23 seasons, 3,308 games, bad 285, 841 OPS, 130 OPS plus, 452 homers, 1,844 RBIs, 3,419 hits, 1,816 runs scored. Uh, Yastrzemski was named the AL MVP in 1967. Uh, a year he won the American League Triple Crown, batting 326 with 44 homers, 121 RBIs. Yastrzemski also had two other seasons in which he hit 40 homers. Yastrzemski had five seasons of at least 100 RBIs in his career, uh, was a three-time AL batting champ, also led the AL in OPS four times in his career. Uh, Yastrzemski won five, six gold gloves in his career, other than winning MVP. He also had MVP finishes of fourth, sixth, ninth, and tenth throughout his career. Was named to the All Star team 18 times. Excuse me, he was a seven time gold glove winner. Carl Yastrzemski, uh, just a great player throughout the 1960s and 1970s, the fourth member of of the left field Mount Rushmore. So again, in alphabetical order by last name, we got Barry Bonds, Ricky Henderson, Ted Williams, and Carl Yastrzemski. I could have named a boatload of honorable mentions. I'll name a few, uh, starting with, in no particular order, Lou Brock, Billy Williams, Manny Ramirez, Ralph Kiner, Willie Stargell, Albert Bell, Goose Goslin, Tim Raines, Al Simmons, Jim Rice, Ed Delahanty, and Mini Minoso again, just to name a few. So there you have it, the left field Mount Rushmore. Uh, do you agree with my left field Mount Rushmore? Is there someone, uh, maybe I included honorable mentions, maybe like a Manny Ramirez that you would have put on here? Let me know in the comments tomorrow. Stay tuned. I will be doing center field, just like left field. There are some awesome players that will be on there. I have to figure out how to limit it to just Four. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications, I'm out.